Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the third, okay? Now keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. Typically these readings play out with me for me in a few days. Sometimes it's the day of, but not usually. Um, so what do we have for a message today? Two of coins. And the three of wands. So the two of coins is juggling. And the three of wands is an arrival. I feel like it's stepping into new territory, focusing on the future. We have somebody here that's trying to juggle. You know, they're doing a lot. Very, very chaotic. Very, very busy. Has a, Somebody has a lot on their plate. It's time to take the next step. They may have to let go of some responsibilities. So I do feel like there's some sort of uh, struggle going on here with... Uh, too much. It's just a little, little bit too much. Over, it's like it's uh, uh, overextended perhaps, but handling it very well, okay? Getting prepared for something. So we have somebody here that is doing a lot. You know, they got a lot on their plate. They're getting prepared right now. Even though things may seem a little bit crazy. Trying to do too much or is doing too much. So I think do, but... But it's in, it's they're do the reason this is happening is because it's a time of preparation. The three of Wands is preparation and preparation for an arrival. So getting prepared for something. Somebody is getting prepared and it's it's difficult. Okay, this is a little bit much. Five of Swords. Five of Swords is defeated in some way. Let me just get another card. Knight of Cups reverse. Not looking for a relationship. Somebody's really focusing and getting themselves prepared, not really focusing on love, maybe focusing on responsibilities right now, not focusing on a relationship. This five of swords can mean so many things. It's some sort of defeat, maybe betrayal. Obviously, this is somebody being chewed up and spit out. Um, leaving behind, though. This is leaving behind something. Walking away from something that has been painful focusing on the future this is uh, I feel like we have somebody here that is overextending themselves they're handling it but five of wands reversed now this five of wands reversed is highly competitive Strong competition. It could also be letting something go. There's probably a need to let something go because there's a lot going on right now. Fives are about change. And we have a couple of fives here. So I feel like there's a change that is needed. Somebody needs to make a decision. Is it worth all of this? Is it worth it? There's some sort of competition going on. Is it really worth it? Is it worth your emotional health? You know, because this is, you know, this is be careful. It really is. The Five of Swords is be careful. You could get yourself, and this could be dangerous. Looks like it's a, something happened. Somebody got themselves. They may get them. They could get themselves into a dangerous situation. You know, uh, I mean. And there's a need to... Uh, I don't know, reevaluate perhaps. I mean, the Knight of Cups reversed is not focusing on a relationship, not focusing on yourself. Um, this could be something, it could be. We also could have a player here 
because juggling is a game and so isn't the five of wands is a game and this i wonder if we have a player here and that message just came to me it could be it's a completely different message somebody may be uh not realizing that they're in a situation where there's it's dangerous okay there's sneaky behavior there's shady behavior you may need to get prepared for something. Get prepared. There's a snake here, obviously. And with the night, somebody may be focusing on somebody that is not emotionally invested. They're, they're competing. They have competition. There is some sort of competition. Twos are about partnerships. This reading starts out with a two. Somebody may be going back and forth between partnerships or they're struggling to make a choice. Somebody is struggling to make a choice and it is in regards to a relationship and I do feel like they're going back and forth with it. There's some sort of, maybe it's fear. There could be fear, fear of, of getting hurt, fear of getting betrayed and that's why they're going back and forth. But that five of wands reversed is, is uh, some sort of competition or pettiness or tension over a relationship so there is a, the struggle the fives are power struggles they are so somebody is struggling over you know expressing their feelings or open their heart or focusing on a relationship and it's because they have a lot going on right now or they have to make a choice between two options what is this five of swords what is this Five of Swords? Strength. Now, strength is courage. It is facing fear. Somebody needs to find their courage and their strength to face their fears. They've there's also a focus on healing. The strength is a very healing energy. So I, and this is, I go from past, present to future. Somebody is needing to take the next step, but they're struggling. They are struggling to take the next step. They've been healing from something. This is a card of grace and tact and restraint. Somebody has healed from some sort of betrayal or they've been healing from a betrayal. There's a need to have uh, courage here. Oh, three of swords, that's, that's in the future. The future is heartache, pain. Suffering. Ace of Wands reverse. Now that's going south. Something being uh, weighed down. Somebody is being weighed down by a betrayal. This is being weighed down. A lack of growth. No desire for a relationship. No desire for a partnership. Somebody is not focusing on a partnership, okay? They're not. And it's because of a previous betrayal where they were dealing with a snake who chewed them up and spit them out. Now they're focusing on the future, getting themselves prepared. Not really engaging it doesn't feel like there's a lack. I feel like there's a lack of engagement here because of somebody that has walked away or something like that, or they were pushed away. Anyhow, um, in the future, we had that five of wands reverse, which is letting go of the heartache. Because five of wands, if you think about it, in the other deck, it's the tug of war. It's like letting go, letting go of the competition, letting go, not playing the game, removing yourself from the situation. Um, now would be letting go of the heartache, letting go of the pain. There's obviously some big, huge pain here. This, this, this really hurt bad. This is some serious heartache right here, stabbed right in the heart. This is heart pain, heartache.
This is bad news. There is somebody here that is, is emotionally unavailable that is not taking any action. And it's and it's and maybe you know, and they're going back and forth in regards to whether they want to take action. Maybe I mean if in, this person may know that they hurt somebody even. This person may have hurt somebody really, really bad. This person that they hurt has healed. They may know that there's some competition, but they don't have the nerve to take action. This three of wands up here, that is that is in you. That's your position. You are in a position where you are getting prepared for an arrival, okay? After being hurt really, really bad by something. Somebody's really focusing on their health as well. And I or they need to. If they haven't, they need to. Their emotional health. I feel like there's some sort of uh with the with the Ace of Wands reverse next to the Knight of Cups reverse, there could be a withdrawn invitation or a broken engagement or a recanted proposal or a cancellation of an event. This looks like it's an unrequited love situation. There's somebody here that has some sort of, well, they're emotionally insecure. And there's pain here. There is some sort of pain over a conflict or something like that with the Five of Wands. There, that, that Five of Wands is reluctance. Somebody is definitely reluctant to take action. And it does have to do with, I feel like this person that is not taking any action is, um, well, they're hurting. They are hurting. They are suffer suffering. They are suffering. Um, they're not making any moves because they can't master their emotions. They can't take the lead. They can't take ownership. This person lacks discipline. They do. They lack discipline. Um, there could be an emotional outburst ahead. Okay? There definitely could be an emotional outburst ahead. Seriously. Somebody here cannot master their emotions, and it's because they are in pain. They are hurting over the competition, or they are hurting over a fight. There's something going on here. And they don't have the mental strength to take action. This is somebody who's not a leader. Okay, this person does not take the lead. This person... Um, doesn't have the determination or the discipline or the willpower to follow through with what their heart wants. They don't. They don't. Anyhow, the chariot reversed is emotions all over the place and so isn't the knight of cups. So this I feel like in the in the future there's some sort of emotional turmoil. Okay, just saying. And it could be over a separation that is coming. And this is in the future. It is in the future. So I do believe there is some sort of emotional upset over some sort of heartache or heart pain that is coming. Okay, and that is in the future. And when you get fives, and I don't only have two, expect the unexpected. Hmm. Ten of Cups reverse. Where there is relationship problems here. There is. There is. There, this could be a with the family. It could be with the kids. It could be with your uh, significant other. There is a relationship that, that where there has been some sort of betrayal or hostile situation. Somebody may have engaged in some sort of lust or something with another person, and they may be uh, struggling. To make a choice and to watch direction they want to go. But you do need to get prepared because I feel like there is... There could be a departure or an arrival with that Three of Wands. 
there are relationship problems here and somebody there's some sort of heartbreak that comes along with it and that is coming okay um tens are completions so we have i feel like we have the end of a relationship i do this is this is this is heartache it is that three of swords is heartache I, and i feel like there's something that this is a stop it's a dead stop the chariot no more movement things coming to a dead stop There's suffering here. The Three of Swords is suffering. It is painful. I feel like we have a painful separation here. I'm sorry. I am. I mean, I don't know what to say. It just feels like there's no growth. This, there's, this is uh, somebody is really hurting over something not growing okay or they're not getting what they thought they were gonna get I feel like I feel like there's this is somebody may have gotten themselves into a situation without thinking right here now they have been betrayed or something like that and there's no Well, that Ace of Wands reverse is there's no fire, right? There's no there's no fire left. There's no there's no flame left. There's no spark left. Somebody has lost their spark. They've lost their desire. They've lost the desire to be in a relationship with somebody that hurt them, that betrayed them, that fought with them, that struggled, you know, that the that, that caused a lot of tension in their lives. This is the end. It is the end of that relationship. And I think we have somebody here that is getting prepared for something to arrive that is better. But I feel like whoever has hurt them is hurting as well. Because I feel like this person knows that they hurt the other person. And they know that there's no chance left. We have somebody here, the Knight of Cups reversed, that cannot handle stress. This person sweeps problems under the rug, you know, uh, is two-faced. Uh, weak. I also feel like there, there is some sort of heartbreak here. There obviously is heartbreak here. Somebody is heartbroken. And they are heartbroken because the competition, something to do with the competition, the competition is over. It really is. It's time for you to walk away. Okay, here's the competition. Walk away. It's time for you to take that next step. Stop going back and forth. It's, it, it's, it's the two of pentacles to me is a realignment. It's time to align yourself with something better. Master your emotions and go in a new direction. If there's no growth, if there's no passion, if there's no desire, if there's no intimacy, if there's no happiness, then these boots were made for walking. Anyhow, I do feel like there is a painful situation in the future. I feel, uh, what did I say? I don't even know what just came out of my mouth. Painful separation. I can't wait to watch this. I have no idea what just came out of my mouth. And that, you can remember, everything that happens during a reading is part of this reading. Remember, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. But whatever happens during this reading, whatever words come out of my mouth is part of this reading. I don't even know what I just said. So somebody could say something that causes a conflict, that causes a separation. 
seriously. That Three of Swords this is a painful separation. Healing will be needed. You always got to see in a reading what's, what's mirroring each other. This is a healing energy, okay? This heartache and this pain leads to healing. So anyhow, with the Ten of Cups reverse, I feel like I feel like this, there's a relationship that has been struggling to grow. It's unrequited love. Somebody has been going back and forth whether whether to focus on the future or focus on the past or to hang on or to let go. And they may have been overextending themselves in other areas of their life to uh, not deal with it. But I feel like there is something happening where there's some sort of conflict or something that causes a change, causes a realignment. Okay, see they're mirroring each other. I feel like uh, you should probably get prepared. Somebody needs to get prepared for either a departure or an arrival. I feel like in many cases, it is, a, it is a departure, but in some, it's an arrival. We have somebody here that may have ended a relationship where they were betrayed, and they haven't been taking any action because of fear, and that's the reluctance, the reluctance to put themselves back in the game, to make themselves be part of a competition. They haven't taken any action. They haven't taken the lead. This is somebody that is weak with a chariot reverse you know that hasn't really been focusing on a relationship and I think it's because of fear fear of you know betrayal but it is time to focus on the future and take action and just go for it I feel I feel like uh There is a need to be optimistic and to think positive and to really hope for the best and step into new territory. But I feel like whoever it is that is going back and forth as to whether they want a relationship or not is struggling with their decision right now. One more card and that is it. Coins reverse. I guess we're going to take two. And the Page of Wands reverse. Now that is bad news. It is bad news. There's uh, a loss here with the Queen of Coins reverse. This is uh, un unstable, insecure. We have somebody here that is very, very insecure. And they're not willing to give anything or try anything new. And they need to. It feels like we have somebody here that is more interested in their money, their job, their business. Uh, everything but a relationship. And that's why we have a relationship that isn't coming to fruition or it is on the rocks because money is more important than love. I feel like we always, we, we always, I don't even know what's going on. Um, there's unwelcome news here. And it, it and I feel like it's, it's so, there's unwelcome news that is coming from, Somebody may thinking, maybe thinking that they are going to be getting something. They think they're going to get something, but they're not. There's laziness here as well. We have somebody here that is lazy, that doesn't really want to put in effort. This person does not want to give. They don't want to give. And they don't plan on giving anything. And it's because... And maybe they're in a relationship right now just for the money, you know, or they've sought after something just for the money, just for their financial stability. But deep down, there's no stability here. 
there's and I feel like there's an unplanned uh, something, this is unplanned, something is going to happen that is unplanned. Um, I don't know if there's a breakup or what. Anyhow, there could definitely be a breakup. This is an unplanned, uh, it feels like there's an unplanned separation here. I feel like there's bad news that is coming. I don't know, with that five of swords, I feel like there. You know, they could be a, I hate to say it, I don't know if it's like a sudden ending, because that looks like it's a, okay, that looks like it's a death, and that is very sudden, that is too, so I want to, when I say sudden death, okay, it doesn't mean that it's a physical death, it could, it could be, but it could be a sudden ending of a relationship, because it's unrequited love, there's nothing stable about it. We may have somebody here that also is very uh, ungrounded, uh, not not a natural. This person is not stable. They're not secure. They don't have anything to offer. You know, they're not committed. They don't want to be in a commitment. Anyhow, I do believe there is, somebody is going to receive some news that they probably don't want to hear about an individual that does not want to be in a commitment or there's a sudden departure. Okay? There is also, there could be somebody coming that is uh, bad news. This person is bad news. They don't want a commitment. You need to be careful. Good luck.